Hi, this is Dan Roberts, arena voice for the Utah Jazz. Welcome to Top Plays. Here are some of the strangest plays you've sent in this year for NBA 2K22. It's time for your not-so-top plays. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds. First up, Ryan found out that shooting practice is best held when teammates are not ducking the walls. So rude. Next up, it's Glee Cleave sends us a note on timeout etiquette. Don't call that T.O. mid-jump shot. Oh, I got a green, bro. It was going in. Oh, my God. Picks the name. He gives the defense a need for a timeout with his dribble moves, sending the defender to the bleachers for a rest. Maybe avoiding blooper reels is a confidence thing. Tom Bell, 1979, pokes the ball free, dives, and just decides to win it from the hardwood. Why risk a turnover, right? So many ways to get a basket. Cuzzy KC shows us that new physics trick you learned off the rim, bouncing back in. Unlikely, but impressive. If you see a defender trying to force a charge call, don't run straight into them. Hey, Medoshiki, is there a magnetic badge I don't know about? That draws back-to-back -back charges. And if you see Goggles 2K in the event center, don't be sour. Stay out of the paint or the whole team is knocking the candy out of your bag. Remember that you can be featured on 2K TV by submitting your best plays using the hashtag 2K TV. And inside the locker room, everyone trying to lock in. Get mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. The mighty Mississippi flowing through the city of New Orleans. Welcome and thanks for joining 2K Sports for a Friday night full of NBA action. Hi folks, this is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, it might go without saying, but LaMelo Ball grew up in a basketball family at their home in Chino, California. Some intense games with his older brothers were played. LaMelo said, quote, they were serious, slamming into the gate. That's where you develop. Hating to lose. Everybody's going hard. I wish I could have seen it, B.A. It's led to this, Allie. Thanks for that. So the Hornets starting five. On the wings, Book Knight and Hayward. Andre Drummond is out there with McDaniels. And it's Ball in at the one spot. And for New Orleans, Ingram at the three, Zion at the four. Kyrie Irving out there with MP. And it's Aiden in at the center position. And every year, Grant, the officials seem to emphasize a different rule. You think it takes long for players to adjust? You know, B.A., it depends on the rule and how strict they will call it. Things like the rip-through, hand-checking, those type of rules, they take some time to adjust. Now here's Hayward. To the wing, right side. Here's Book Knight, covered by MP. Pass the ball. Just five on the clock. Hayward, the pass to Drummond. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. Ball against MP. Now Williamson. Back to MP. And MP throws it down. Zion plays within the system. Right there, very unselfish. Pass to Drummond. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Book Knight. The Pelicans pull it in. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Irving, the pass to Williamson. Oh, rejected by Drummond. And they'll keep possession. MP finds Aiden. The three is up. The shot by Ingram, no good. Yeah, not really much of a flow offensively yet. Only one of four from the field. Pass to Booknight. 
On the take. And Williamson with the block. Well, Zion just aggressive there and great timing. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down. And maybe get the best possible shot the next time. Just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Here's Book Knight. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Shooting both good from the line that time. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. MP, the pass to Aiden. MP outside. To the paint. And Aiden gets it to go. Aiden just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. Charlotte trailing. Pass to McDaniels. Back to ball. Here's Book Knight. The shot off that time. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. MP, the pass to Ingram. And here's MP from outside. He buries it from three. MP's got five points. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead. Trying to put the other team away and threatening here. Now here's Ball. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he gets it to go. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Williamson. Irving finds Ingram. That three's off the mark. For Charlotte, they've gone just one of six to begin the game. Oh, Grant, at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, sets in the paint. He does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lights the load on every other member of their front court. New Orleans making some changes. Adams checked in for DeAndre Ayton. And it's Bain in for Brandon Ingram. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. Oubre comes in for McDaniels. Now here's MP. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. Back to Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. You can't leave someone open on MP's squad because he's solid at recognizing the open commitment. Book night. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. New Orleans has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Pass to Williamson. On the wing, MP. He's covered by Oubre. And here's MP from outside. Ball with the rebound. For Charlotte, they've gone only two of seven so far. A cold start. Here's Book Knight. The put back. The rebound by MP. New Orleans in the lead. Over to the wing. Williamson finds Irving. MP with it. To the inside. And Williamson throws it down. Nice dime by MP off the pick and roll. He draws the defense's attention and then just flicks it away. Here's Book Knight. Six points for him. Pass the ball. Outside Ubre. Two minutes remaining. 13 feet out. Two minutes. Here's Hayward. Oh, a clear Whoa. foul there on the missed shot. And so he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on MP. A tenacious competitor. Hayward is.
is more than comfortable yeah, playing in attack mode. Hey, there's Gordon a lot Hayward. to love about the effort level you get from Gordon Hayward out on the floor, Grant. Yeah, he wants to be a difference maker and a go-to. So he's constantly working the floor and looking for chances to help out. Being a little aggressive like that can really elevate your game. Hayes is checked in for the Pelicans. Graham comes in for Irving. Now here's Ball. He's putting up some terrific numbers. Over 28 a game. Outside Graham. MP against Oubre. The drive by MP. Here's Adams. Pass to Bain. Oubre against MP. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. And they'll get another chance. Down low. And another shot. Misses off the left iron. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, assertive play there from Oubre, just being aggressive and not bothered by the touch. The MP, the pass to Graham. MP outside, inside. Here's Adams. Ooh, and Adams strong finish. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Hayward. Taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Drives to the hoop. And the shot's good. Gordon Hayward. Not backing down from anyone. Hayward looking determined to score on the intense coverage. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Pelicans ahead, leading by just two. And we've got more NBA action on 2K. And one of the most versatile offensive players in the league, Gordon Hayward, talked about one of his go-to moves. Uh, I really like the step back move, being at 6'8". And that step back jumper, one of the most important shots today. It really is. And for players like Gordon that are a live threat off the dribble, it's even more effective. Well, this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. On the court for the Hornets. We've got Kelly Oubre, P.J. Washington out there with Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's Martin in at the two. Well, MP in the last matchup against the 76ers put on a show. He had 46 points and was on point from deep. An astounding game for him, putting up numbers we might be talking about for the rest of his career. Back to you. It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. Sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Knocked away. That's going to be over and back. I'm watching the line on that one. And the Pelicans making a change here. Aiton's checked in. Drummond's checked in for Charlotte. McDaniels comes in for Oubre. MP outside. And finished off by Hayes. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Drummond up top. He's covered by Aiden. Here's Martin. Back to Drummond. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Martin. Over Graham. Again the miss by the Hornets. Well, the Pelicans shooting a nice 50% for the game. Off target from three-point range. The Hornets have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass 
to Drummond. Shot blocked. And here's MP. He's got five. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. And so it's Charlotte with it. Charlotte trailing. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Drummond. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Oh, man, 7-1. Not a good idea to challenge Aiton there. Bogdanovich hits the front of the rim and out. They've got two or three shots to go in the second. And it's blocked by Martin. And the ball goes out of bounds. Charlotte Last ball. touch by MP. Book night. He's checked in for Charlotte. Here's Martin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. The emphasis placed on athleticism is bigger than it's ever been. And that goes for all positions. Yeah, you're going to need athletes all over the game. And I think there's this trend to finding wing players or taller players who have the capability of being very good at a lot of things and not just specialists anymore. That's the way modern-day rosters seem to be being built. MP, the pass to Aiden. It's good. They have no answer defensively inside. Here's Book Knight. Six points for him. Pass to Drummond. Here's Book Knight. Williams grabs the board, and it's the Pelicans on the break. And MP throws it down. Oh, such creativity on that dunk. MP loves getting opportunities like this to show off a little. Now Drummond. Outside Bogdanovich. And a miss there on the triple. The Pelicans have gone four for six here on the second. And there's the lob. And Williamson throws it down. Again, just watching Zion's leaping ability. It's over the defense. And easily finds the rim. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Their first chance this season playing the Pelicans. Interesting East versus West matchup tonight. The first of just two games between these clubs. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game. Lamelo Ball, Lamello Ball. He's checked in for Bogdanovich. Pelicans on D. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Pass to Martin. Ball with it. And here's Drummond. Here's Martin. Covered by MP. Just five to shoot. Yes, it's good. Martin's got his first basket of the night. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And it's the Hornets on the break. Here's Book Knight. The shot comes out. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to be. They need him to get it together. So the Hornets making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. Gordon Hayward. MP left side. Three-pointer. Sinks it from distance. MP's got ten. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. With the teardrop and the ball with the layup. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient with the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. From deep, MP. Shot's no good. Made four, he's missed four now. Well, the Hornets shooting just around 26% for the game. Book night covered by MP. Got a piece of it. Six on the shot clock. From the elbow. And Williamson with the block. MP drives in. 
Oh, denied by Hayward. Irving against Ball. Two minutes remaining in the Shoots. first half. Two minutes. No good off the back of the rim. New Orleans has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant's court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees that his feathers are He enjoys making those flash plays. He's been everything you want to a playmaker. The early on. Comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very and we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's an all Duke forward pair. Ingram the three, Zion the four. MP is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Aiton in it to five. That's the group for Willie Green getting going here in the second half. Hey. Something that's evolved in this league, the level of strength training. Hayward can now easily muscle through contact. Aiton passes to MP. Fires the three. Sinks that one. Now shooting five of ten. And looks sharp. Way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. The foul called on MP. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Ball against Irving. Pass to Book Knight. There's Ball with a three. Nice to see Kyrie focus on locking down his man defensively. You can use that speed to your advantage on that end, too. MP. Oh, another basket for him. He's 6 and 11 now. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. MP outside. Shot clock at five. Goes up with the strike. Pelicans keep it alive. Williamson misses. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Out of bounds, New Orleans will have it. Martin, he's it's checked in for Charlotte. Cody Martin. The Pelicans have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. MP. Back to MP. Jacks up a three. Nails it from three. MP's got 18 points. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Here's Booknight into the lane. James <laughs> Booknight. Once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Here's MP. Irving for three. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got eight assists in the game. For Charlotte, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Aiden against Ball. Pass to Drummond. Over Irving. The shot by Drummond, no good. New Orleans has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And MP throws it down. Once again, MP scoring. If I was his teammate, I'd give him the ball every possession. Here's Book Knight. Drummond inside. Covered by MP. Oh, great D that time from MP. Fires the three. Who poked away. Stolen by Ball. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. And the Hornets make a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Bogdan Bogdanovich. MP outside. To the middle. Here's Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. That's 
some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Ball outside. Got it. Good job in the low post. Ball's got four points in the quarter. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific group right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. MP drives in. And MP throws it down hard. <laughs> wow, did you see that? I mean, MP throwing it down off the bounce. Watch out. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. The three from Ball. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number eight here already in the game. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Irving, that's good. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Charlotte's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Ball passes to Drummond. Bogdanovich with it. Takes it inside. That one falls. Coming off a Drummond feed. And Bogdanovich drives Arts for a reason. He's made a good decision to knife inside. New Orleans calls timeout. Drummond, the first thing that comes to mind when you see him in that frame is just rebounding the ball. And the Pelican. Checking in for the away team. Pass to MP. To the left side wing. Williamson with it. The offensive rebound. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot it there. Washington. Intensity from Aiden consistently finding different ways to get at the defense and make them overcommit. Kyrie Irving's checked in for the Pelicans. Drummond's checked in for Charlotte. McDaniels comes in for Martin. And the rebounding numbers for Drummond put him in some historic company. Well, you want to say it comes easy, but that does a disservice to Andre Drummond doing the work early, getting down there and staying physical really being one of the most dominant rebounders we've seen in the past decade. On the floor for Charlotte. All at point with Rozier next to it. That's the backcourt. Jalen McDaniels is out there with Kelly Oubre. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. That one's good for two. It's some pinball action out there as defenders just bouncing off of Williamson. Pass to Booknight. And here's Oubre covered by MP. Ball against Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. From deep three-point range, it's tipped. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Williamson. Ball with the rebound. So he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Here's Booknight, covered by MP. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. He no, seems no. really frustrated. And he's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. MP outside. Eight passes to MP. From deep. Pure from three-point range. MP's got 25 points in the game. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, he's getting stronger. Here's Ball. And the rebound goas to the Pelicans. Ayton's got 11 rebounds in the game. Oh, German with a block. Irving against Ball. Pass to Oubre. Unloads. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Now going up inside Oubre with a nice rhythm touch there. MP, the pass to Irving. It's tipped. Stolen by Drummond. 
on the attack. Ubre. Oh, MP with a block. And they're able to recover. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Pelicans. We've seen them make the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity, and they've gotten a lot of fast break no, points no, no. out of it. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Down low. Oh, the Four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass the ball. Here's Book Knight. Back to ball. Now Drummond. Here's Book Knight. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on MP. Good whistle there. And Brent, you were a dunk contest champion in 1996. So when you think of the all-time great dunkers, who's the first person that comes to mind? I have to go with Vince Carter. Probably during my time, the most explosive and exciting slam dunk artist in game that I've ever seen. But if you go through history, you know the likes of Dominique Wilkins and Dr. J. There's been many high flyers and many skywalkers, and we appreciate all of them. Here's Oubre. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. MP finds Ingram. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Brandon Ingram showing some toughness that time. That's a strong finish. Here's Ball. Pass to Book Knight. Over MP. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is gone. To the paint. And he dunks it down. No. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Now here's MP. Williamson, no good. Ball against Irving. Now here's Ball. He's covered Two closely. Remaining in the game. Two minutes. And he gets it back. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those will play here. He's getting every Jim offense. He does so Three. much out there to stretch out the defense, and he's out on the perimeter, and he drains the triple. MP with it. Working on McDaniels. MP shot is off. Okay. Better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive. Here's Book Knight. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Something's off about him this morning. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language. You just don't want to see that. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Pelicans. Their transition game was the standout for me. Created a lot of extra pressure pushing the ball. I agree. They took control of the tempo no. and were really dictating the terms of the game. And they add to the win column their 19th victory this year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for MP. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Book Knight. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going fully on display here. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Finishing the game strong. 
This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Ball outside. And so it's the Pelicans taking care of business. This one, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson.